This is the story of Andres Escobar and Pablo Escobar. Both had the same last name, although there was no blood relation. Andres grew up to become the most beloved player in the history of Colombian soccer. And Pablo rose through the ranks of the criminal underground and was also arguably the secret weapon behind what was an unprecedented rise in Colombian soccer. In a time when rival drug cartels were battling in the streets and the country's murder rate had climbed to become the highest in the world, Colombia was in desperate need of a makeover. Today, in front of better than 90,000 at the Rose Bowl in Pasadena, time has stopped. The United States looks for their first win in World Cup 94. The Colombians touted as a pre-tournament favorite. Colombians have some of the very best players that exist in the world today. You know, the underdog against the powerhouse seems like if we win this game, they're going to make a movie out of it. At this level, the psychological edge, I think, is probably more important than anything else. The Associated Press has reported that Columbia received a death threat at the team's hotel in Fullerton, California. Se habla de que un brujo llama y dice que no puede jugar y meter la pierna. ¿Qué pasó? O sea, tengo algo muy horrible. Me asaltaron hasta la familia, los hijos, que uno que iban a violar a mi señora, que iban a secuestrar a mi hija. Me secuestraron a mi hijo. Iba a cumplir tres años. Yo entré en una crisis nerviosa impresionante. Queda uno no nada. Nos sentíamos en otro planeta. O sea, no sentíamos que esa fuera la realidad que estuviera viviendo. Se llorar como un niño. A llorar, a llorar y llorar y llorar, sabíamos que teníamos que ganar sí o sí, que era la última oportunidad de venir. Que viene con una mano negra que está interviniendo, comienza una crisis anímica, psicológica y fuimos a jugar bajo esa tónica. Vamos a pensar cosas que uno normalmente antes de un partido no piensa. Y uno se va metiendo cosas en la cabeza. Cuando se presentó el autogol, me cogí el rostro y dije, el país se acabó.